There you go, Beyonce. Queen Bee. Yeah. What do you think about that one? <laughs> I thought that, I mean, she's just so interesting, actually, because her runs are so fast, and but her vibrato, she can really vary the speed of it. Mm. That had a bit of more like of an undulation, yeah. you know, a pitch fluctuation that was really noticeable, but still quite fast. Mm. So I don't know if I would quite put it in a pulse speed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But it's it it has so much interesting character the the, the notes she's moving between. Yeah, so we've got uh, we're going to be doing a video on vibrato, and there are they've been identified a few different types, but the main different types are the Broadway kind of musical theatre yeah. classical. Ah! Then you've got the pulse, which is your e domain. E Yes, yeah, so the really fast sort of Ben Platt style. Yeah. And then you've got the hammer vibrato, which is essentially, what else is hammer vibrato called? Um, so some people call it the bleat. The bleat. Yeah, the goat. That's it. I couldn't remember that. <laughs> Larry the lamb. And a lot of people don't like that vibrato, but I actually don't mind it if it's used well. Well, if you're uh, Edith Piaf or yeah. Charles Aznavour. No. Or even Jesse J sometimes. Jesse J uses the bleat sometimes as well, yes, or that the hammer, whichever. It's just faster and it's kind of in between the two. Yeah. So yeah. Watch out for our video. E <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Hudson is awesome. She always sounds like she's making loads and loads of effort, mm -hmm. but makes it look effortless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she sings with a lot of, of passion. It doesn't look like she's just sitting there kind of, you know, having a cup of tea or just, yeah. you, know, <laughs> but, you yeah. know. She puts a lot into it, and I really admire that in her as well. Here we go. So we have... Um... Regina yeah. Velasquez. So yes, it's, it's getting up to the Shaka Khan type mm -hmm. notes now, the F5. So you need to find a different way of handling how you hit those notes. But she's handling that very, very well. So yeah, let's try the next one up. But uh, this isn't going in note order. This is just going in insane vibrato order. So let's see what else. <laughs> order of insanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, Aretha. Yeah, it's still got it. So Aretha always had it, never lost it, in my opinion. Always yeah. insane and brilliant. And always knew how to take her voice up high, kind of with such an ease to it. Yeah. That still gave you those kind of gospel chills, you know? Yeah, and this is really late in her career where people are saying, oh, she's lost the voice, she's lost the power, she should give it up, just like they say about Mariah sometimes, but they still kick everyone's butt. Mm -hmm when they've had this career already behind them. So uh, don't listen to them at all. They're still awesome and brilliant. Yeah. So next up is... Sharif. Oh so, yeah, that was uh, just, uh, just one. Wasn't much vibrato on there though, so more of an insane no. note. Yeah. I've heard of him. Yes. Woo! This is an insane note. Yeah, I mean, it sounds higher and more effortful because it's a guy singing it as well, isn't it? Because yeah. you don't expect guys to sing that kind of high all the time. Ah, la, la, la! But it's kind of got that nice rocky edge as well, which gives yeah. it a bit more of a piercing sound. Yeah, and I think probably it comes from more of a falsetto he plays with a lot of twang. Yeah. Like, find your inner BG and take yeah. it as high as you can. Staying alive, staying alive, ha, 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 staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was the right key. Never mind. Never mind. But, uh, but that sound, and if you slow down the vibrato, then you get the more rocky thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, gives it the illusion of some power, but I'm still not using my full voice, you know? Okay. So again, the rock sound. Ooh. 
Me a high you I don't know how you pronounce it. Me too. Yeah. So like the previous singer, you've got this kind of rocky edge, but this is going super rock. So lots of extra twang there. Yeah. This is, I guess, <laughs> this is neutral head voice, isn't it? With loads of extra rock. Yeah. And a few more overtones you can put on when you're going, wow! It just gives it that extra, really kind of nice yeah. edgy sound. So but yeah, cool. The kind of Robert Plant thing as yeah. well. If you remember Led Zeppelin, he did a lot of that. I don't know. Little mix. Ah, okay. Woo! Okay, so she's using the rocky. There's a lot of these rocky tones coming yeah. into a lot of these high notes, and I think it's just because it makes them appear to be more powerful. Again, not suggesting they're not powerful, it just gives them that extra sort of extra overtony sound, which is kind of mm. cool. Well, I like that, but some people don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you took him home there with that extra long note. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and interesting as well, you know, everyone would probably agree that Dimash has amazing technique. Like I was saying earlier about sometimes vibrato making the body move. His whole head is kind of moving yeah. along with the vibrations there. Ah! Yeah. yeah, okay. And you do see that in some singers. Demi, Demi, you're with your eyes so blue. Demi. More rock. Rock, rock, rock. Aye! Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's making a return, a comeback. The 70s days of, yeah. <laughs> of heavy rock screams. It's cool. Mitch Grassi. Nice, so pentatonics there, but he's got a really lovely kind of choir boy sound to his voice. Yeah, isn't he? it's really cool. He almost does this kind of counter tenor. Yeah. Sound when he's, you know, when he's in the lower part using that kind of falsetto -y sound. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Hey, Ariana. So she's got, I think, a lot of effects on there as well. On yeah. the mic, so a bit of uh, production going on, but still very, very cool, very piercing. So a lot more twang on that kind of high note there. We've moved more into the high notes and the vibrato on this video, really. Yeah, that wasn't so much vibrato. It was yeah. just e emphasising the note a few times, right? Yeah. Adam Lambert, one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah, so really emphasizing that rock overtone again and the tongue yeah. stuck out there. Hi! Yeah, and you see that quite a lot with rock singers actually in the very high notes. It's like just for that extra bit of space, you'll see the tongue start to almost move out of the mouth, or in his case, sometimes go straight out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of like getting insane. I don't know what to say to that one really, but it's uh, it's it was still we're going the rocky edge side. Yeah. Uh, but I've not heard that singer before, so I'm gonna have to look that up again. Yeah, Darren. Darren Spanto. Woo! He's kind of got a bit of gospel in there, isn't he? And a yeah. lot of rock as well. Ha! So yeah, nice. Oh look, it's your favourite. Says Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Not enough. These are getting shorter and shorter. I think the never person enough. Is never enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a bit of John Legend not doing uh, high notes. He, he has a really cool vibrato, actually. Yeah. John Legend. Yeah. Almost like a kind of crooner style. Ooh. I want to hear some more of him. Here we go. Jeffrey Lewis. He looks like he's in a gospel church. Just insanely high notes. Woo! 
okay, so this is the voice. In Italy, I think it must yeah. be. Yeah. Amazing. So, I've never heard of this singer before, but that was pretty insane. Bell. Yeah, so she's just kind of ah, 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 with the effects and all kinds of things. Brenda Uri. Now I didn't know. I've not actually listened to any Brenda Uri. Uh, I didn't know that he had a rocky edge to his pop songs. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I I, I remember years ago when Panic at the Disco first came out, I thought they were really cool, but I just knew that he had an interesting voice because he actually has quite a lot of hammer vibrato. But since then, he's been in broad, on Broadway and singing all sorts of different material, and he's really showing all these amazing things his, his voice can do. Yeah, so really, I didn't know that yeah, that was... Oh, we're just... going to review some Brennan Yuri. I just haven't got around to listening to him yet, so uh, I will. Yeah. Yeah. So, gang. Aww. That's great, Patty LaBelle. Yeah, right, the C6 then. Yeah, so all now these are getting like hugely high notes, aren't they? So this is uh, um, C6, which is the high C, mm -hmm. which you can't do uh, super high edge, edge, edge there. It has to be kind of the head voice with twang mm -hmm. and varying degrees of it, but it's just not possible to sing up there with full on edge and full on belt. It's just not, is it? I mean, we can try. <laughs> we can try. Well, I think yeah, I've hit some of those notes myself. It's not comfortable. I think you have to go head boy side mm -hmm. in order to get them comfortably. And if you listen to the tone they're using, it's not, ah, it's, ah, it's all very open, yeah. which is, yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah, nice. Cool, so we've got some nice uh, distortion on there as well. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool. Nice bit of rocky rock rock, yeah. Ow! Cool. Yeah, I think that's the first bit of distortion we've heard yeah. in, in this one. People like Patti LaBelle often have a little bit of rattle in there, as does Beyonce, and yeah. actually Mariah does sometimes too. And Ow! To give it the extra kind of, uh, you know, makes Oof. it sound bigger, but it's really just your head voice. Mm -hmm. Ow! With a bit of twang. And a rattle. How? Not bad, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed us reacting to this video. It's a bit longer than we thought it was going to be. So we're going to review some shorter ones for you next time because actually some of these videos are the same over and over again. So maybe back some artists for us. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, then why not do so right now and click that bell. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Jesus. <laughs> come baby, come baby, baby, come, come. Boom. <laughs>